This month we're back at the prestigious West London Shooting School where, with my colleague James Mott, we'll be showing you seven techniques to better marksmanship. Today we're looking at seven key areas that will help to improve your marksmanship. Becoming a proficient deer stalker is an exciting journey which takes many years of dedication. Many place emphasis on getting out into the countryside and developing their spotting skills and field craft. However, often overlooked is the stalker's ability to take an accurate and effective shot when the opportunity presents itself. Indeed, the stalker has the additional challenge of having to make quick decisions in the field and will be shooting cold with no opportunity to take a few practice shots before the main event. For people starting out, a good proportion of time should be dedicated to improving their shooting skills alongside time spent stalking and looking for deer. Equally, for the experienced stalker, time spent practicing and reaffirming their skills is invaluable and will maintain confidence in their abilities. Firstly, we need a nice stable shooting rest. Some stalkers like to use split sticks. I'm here using the quad pod. It gives us support at the front of the rifle and at the rear, giving us a nice stable base. Another commonly used shooting aid is the bipod. Secondly, we need a clear sight picture. When looking through your rifle scope, make sure you have a clear sight picture. You should see a crisp circular image. If your eye and head position is not correct, i.e. angled too close or far from the scope, you will see shadowing or a crescenting creeping in from the edge of the image that you are seeing. This must be avoided. Thirdly, we need to maintain a natural point of aim at the target. In layman's terms, this means that the rifle should be naturally pointed at the target without the user manipulating it into position. So we're going to try this simple test. Look through the scope, put the crosshairs onto the target. Once you're comfortable, close your eyes for two seconds, remembering to hold your breath. And when you open them again, you should be bang on target. Number four, breathing control. Put simply, you will need to stop your breathing before taking a shot to avoid unwelcome body movement. There are two options. <coughs> There is a small natural pause at the end of every breathing cycle. Most experienced marksmen advocate purposefully inhaling, slowly exhaling, and then pausing at the bottom of the breath, and then taking the shot. Alternatively, another option is to inhale and only half exhale. Hold your breath and then take the shot. Whatever you do, it's important that it becomes routine and feels natural. Number five, follow through. Think positive and maintain the sight picture through the recoil. Mentally, think about following the bullet's journey through to the target. This means that you're intentionally applying your will to keep the sights on target. <laughs> Number six, trigger squeeze. Keeping your crosshairs firmly on target, gently squeeze the trigger using the pad of your finger, not the tip, or first joint. Number seven, avoid flinching. So, flinching. Flinching is the unintended mental and physical response to a negative stimulus. In this case, it is the rifle's report, recoil, and muzzle blast that will result in the displacement of the shot. The louder the report and the harder the recoil, the greater the tendency is to flinch. Everyone flinches to some degree or another. The trick is to flinch after the shot is fired, not before or during. Okay, so that's all very well, but Motti, can you practice what you preach when it comes to a harder recoiling rifle? Now, we have here a 416 Rigby. Now the 416 Rigby recoils with somewhere in the region of twice the energy of a 308. It's a bit of a beast. So, Motti, let's see if you can practice what you preach. There's nothing in it, the rifle's empty. Over to you. Good luck. Okay, so let's recap those seven points. 
One, we want a stable shooting position. Two, a clear sight picture. Three, a natural point of aim. Four, control your breathing. Five, follow through. I'm gonna think positive. Six, trigger squeeze. I'm going to use the pad of my finger. Seven, avoid flinching. I'm thinking five seconds to squeeze the trigger. Now this is a big caliber rifle. Let's see how I get on. To avoid flinching, the gun should fire and surprise you. This will help you avoid flinching before the shot. To help you see how Motti behaves, we slow the shot right down. As I say, this iconic African caliber gives you one hell of a belt in the shoulder. However, Motti keeps his composure until the shot has been made. That's it for this month. Firearms training forms part of our Proficient Deerstalker training. If you'd like to take our Proficient Deerstalker course or need some firearms training, then go to our website www.countydeerstalking.co.uk